All right, hello everybody, it's Game Dev Dad again. I'm just going to do a quick video on how to get the Apple TV Developer Kit um, configured and uh, ready to go. Um, there are a few steps, because uh, out of the box it actually doesn't come with any firmware installed on it, so you have to do that yourself. And uh, you also have to download Xcode 7.1. So um, here's the actual Apple TV hooked in. So I have an HDMI cable plugged in the bottom there. I have the USB-C cable plugged into the USB port above it and then I have the power. And if you look at the other side of the Apple TV, once it's powered up, there will be um, a light. Uh, it's solid right now. When you first try to power it up, it actually might be blinking slowly because um, it needs to be uh, set up and it needs to have firmware installed on it. So. Um, that is actually done. If you look at the screen here, it's done from your old member center of your thing. If you go to SDKs in your member center, then there's going to be a TVOS here. And uh, this is where you can go down to the bottom. It talks a little bit about Apple TV, but you can go down to the bottom and there's going to be um, a download section next to this Xcode with TVOS. So you're going to need to use Xcode 7.1, um, but there's actually more than that to download here. There is the download the TVOS beta. So this is actually the firmware for the Apple TV. And then there's the release notes for the firmware and the beta software installation guide on how to install it. So that's actually uh, where you can read on how to install it on your Apple TV. And then um, there is also Xcode 7.1, which is right here. So when you download Xcode 7.1, it won't replace your other uh, Xcode uh, installation, which is good because it's beta software. And in your applications, you'll actually see your regular Xcode and then your Xcode beta here. So um, you know, make sure that you're actually uh, running Xcode beta point one or Xcode 7.1 when you are uh, developing Apple TV. Uh, applications and if you don't have the dev kit you can just download that and use the emulator so here I'll start that up now okay so if you download Xcode 7.1 beta and you make an Apple TV application you can this is a uh, this uh, application that I'll actually do in a future video um, I'm not going to plan on doing some uh, tutorial videos on how to actually make a game but this was just um, getting started with some uh, sprite sheets but you'll see that uh, that the uh, Apple TV simulator will start up. There we go. So this is just running through a sprite animation of a thing. So it's running on here, and also you can um, go to hardware on the simulator and say show Apple TV remote, and that will show a little window with a kind of mock-up of the Apple TV remote so I can go back to the menu. That's embarrassing. And it'll go back to an uh, Apple TV menu. One thing is, uh, one trick is it says hold option to touch. So if you, you click your mouse on the pad, it's like actually clicking. So if I click here, I'll go into settings. But if you just want to um, like, uh, you know, move around on the trackpad, then you have to actually hold down option on the keyboard and then move your mouse and that's how you'll actually scroll so click on menu and then if I hold down option I can you know see their parallax you know par their stupid parallax uh, I mean their innovative parallax uh, icons so that's how you use the simulator so yeah uh, you start uh, you know you can start developing for Apple TV right away which is great um, and uh, but let's uh, talk about how to get the actual software onto the um, development kit okay so I have downloaded I've downloaded these here which is the um, the firmware the release notes and the installation guide so if you look at the uh, installation guide here it gives you instructions on how to install it sorry my son has a friend over so it might be a little bit loud in the background 
and um, so basically up at the top of this uh, installation guide I'll tell you exactly how to do it so you download the beta software image which is this file right here uh, and it will come out as being this IPS IPSW file it's a restore file you launch your iTunes on your Mac and then in iTunes you'll uh, once you when you first plug it in you'll see that an Apple TV will pop up um, in iTunes where do I have iTunes so unfortunately once you install the firmware at least on my development hardware um, you don't actually see the Apple TV anymore so when I go into iTunes right now um, it won't show up that I have an Apple TV plugged in but the first time you do it, oh wait, no, that's my phone. The first time you do it, it will actually show the Apple TV here, and then you'll click on it, and you'll have an option to restore um, the Apple TV. Fortunately, uh, I don't know why it's not showing up here because it is being registered in Xcode. So if I look in Xcode here, and I go into Window Devices, um, it should uh, have the Apple TV right here. So the development kit that I have is actually being registered and displayed. So it works. It's just for some reason, even though it should be showing up in iTunes right now, it is not. And maybe it's, uh, you know, I need a different beta version of iTunes or something. I don't know. But um, the first time you plug it in, it will show up in iTunes. And then you hold, the, here's the most important thing that people miss. Hold down the option key while you push the restore Apple TV button. If you just re put restore Apple TV, it won't be able to find it because it's looking on the internet for that restore file and it's not available. If you hold down the option key, it'll allow you to load that restore file yourself. So hold down the option key, click restore, and then um, point to where you downloaded that IPSW file, which I've downloaded here and then um, you'll be able to oh, yeah, install. So the other thing is, is if something happens with your installation, um, you can actually uh, get back to uh, recovery mode. So here, this is step seven here. If iTunes does not recognize Apple TV, place it in recovery mode. To place your Apple TV in recovery mode, you um, make it connected to your Mac. You use the remote and you press and hold the menu plus the plays button play pause button for six seconds until that indicator light on the Apple TV starts flashing rapidly. So um, once that happens, then it'll be in restore mode, and then once you plug it in, it will now show up in here as an Apple TV, and then you'll be able to go through from step four, hold down the option key, and do it. So, um, and then here's the instructions on how to register your Apple TV with your, uh, de your developer account. Um, okay, so that's about it for installing it, and then once you get to Xcode 7, so, you know, here I am uh, right now building to the simulator, so if I want to instead, uh, sorry, if I want to instead build to my device, then I can switch to my device, and once I build here, it should go through... Okay, I've done that. Okay, so I'm going to just build it uh, straight to the Apple TV device here. So it's similar to when you build to your iOS devices. I'm sure if you're looking at this, you've probably done that before. So it'll build and then it'll upload it uh, onto the device and then run it on the device. Uh, sorry, my device is uh, up here and it is in uh, screensaver mode. So I'm just going to uh, take it out of screensaver mode first and wait. So here we go, it's signing, and now it's running on the Apple TV, so it should just start the application up here. Okay, and there's the same application running upon the actual Apple TV hardware. And I can push the menu button, the menu button on the remote. I should be able to push it to go back to the main menu. And that's it. Okay, guys, so those, uh, the most important, or the most difficult thing was just holding down the option key when you restore, um, and that you have to download those files and actually ins uh, install the firmware on the Apple TV device. Uh, that's really it. Okay, so the next video is going to be... Um, 
building our first uh, application. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.